when the British left us in 1948, uh, we had we brought in our, uh, you know, we had to follow their constitution, and at that time, pretty sure we also felt the way the Afghans are feeling right now, uh, and that mentality was embedded into our education system, thinking pattern. Here we are still on the begging mentality that after 70, uh, 80 years down the line, now the Afghan people, you are saying, oh, you have to take care of yourselves, you need to fight, but they were completely dismantled. You take off the spine and you are asking the body to function. How? Yes, in that point, uh, Maesh, the system that did not work, in fact, this is something that I had the occasion to share with uh, uh, Secretary uh, Hillary Clinton when I was discussing other matters. On that, I said, I think you are on the wrong track in not understanding what Afghanistan is about. And she was keen to listen, but uh, there's very little action that will flow from whatever suggestions we make. But having said that, what Americans lacked most was understanding yes. of the reality of what on, the ground. on the ground and the culture of Afghanistan. Top of that, the Islamic dictations that come to a Islamic state. Yes. Americans were totally foreign to all those realities. They thought the asset development in terms of their military asset development along with their so-called military training will outdo any other requirements. But the fundamental, the spine of the Afghan people lied in Islam yeah. and the mental process was working according to Islam and fundamental and primitive ways of looking at matters were part of this uh, the uh, Afghan culture. Yeah. <clears throat> so Taliban was able to score on yeah, that yeah. and Taliban had, did not advocate the modernization. They went along the primitive system of advocacy for a philosophy that they thought would suit best in terms of their religious uh, so-called inclination. Mm -hmm.